Alright folks, we're at, what, what, what year is this car? 78 450 SLC. Alright, 78 450 SLC. This is an old SL Mercedes. Um, it's got a Bowflex for an e-brake. What's got a 4.6 V8 in it? 4.5, yeah. 4.5 V8. And uh, that's all we're going to tell you about the car for now, but um, we're getting ready to go ahead and do a lap. And uh, I don't know, this is one of my favorite cars here, so let's check this thing out. It was action first, and now we're going to talk about the car. We're with Jason with his, uh, what is this, a 460? 450, 78 450 SLC. Okay, so this this is old school, like super old school, and pretty much, I would say, one of a kind. Um, have you ever seen another Mercedes drift car? Uh, like this? Not not one of these, like more modern, like 190Es, and uh, you know, a little bit newer stuff. Okay. Um, but now, this is the only one I've seen of this. So, as far as getting this car drift ready, do you have any angle mods or anything like that? Yeah, I did uh, remove the steering stops, shorten the steering arms. Uh -huh. uh, they're bolt on, so took them off, uh, adjusted the acumen a little bit. Okay. Uh, so, it's pretty good. I mean, it could maybe use a little bit more, but. Uh, I'm, I'm content. I'd like to have a little bit more, but it has a steering box, uh -huh. no rack, so it's a little, a little more difficult to get angle out of it. Okay. So back in the 70s, how much horsepower was this thing supposed to make? This is a US spec. Uh, they say 180 horsepower, 220 foot pounds, but that's with mm -hmm. catalysts and mm -hmm. everything. So with open exhaust uh it's probably maybe a little bit north of 200. Oh, okay but that's not bad for this little car man that's all right well it's not really little uh-huh it's heavy okay so it's a tank <laughs> Three thousand pounds oh okay so it hides its weight it was 3500 before i started removing stuff okay so it's probably like 32. cool uh it's got a, a differential from a six cylinder uh -huh. 369 ratio okay and a four speed from a 350 sl all right so let's go over some of the features on the interior because uh, we were looking at that earlier <laughs> all right you want to go on the other side all right, sure. all right all right so first off We've got a manual transmission because I know you weren't expecting to see one of these, but obviously that's necessary for a drift car. Yeah. Uh, and that is the uh, factory manual because back in the day they used, used to make manual cars. Well, this is a factory manual for a similar car, but this car never would have come with a, a the United States cars never had manuals. Oh, this, this okay. Is out of a, a the 3.5 liter version. Okay. Had a manual. So this is a manual swap. Yeah. Oh, okay. From Good stuff. Three, it's from a 350 SL. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool stuff. All right. And then, all right. So explain, explain this. Um, this is just a Mercedes master cylinder modified to have one circuit for dual calipers in the rear. Uh -huh. So this is a regular old brake master cylinder. That's yeah. It's a uh -huh. master cylinder that would have been out of the front of this car. Okay. One, one port plugged and the piston inside has been solid. It's, it's one piston now. Uh huh. So this is all all fabricated. Okay. Obviously nothing. There there just wasn't room to fit it comfortably. I wanted it between the shifter and the steering wheel. Uh -huh. and so this yeah. guy is off of a off an exercise machine. Yeah. And then yeah. so actually, yeah I don't know. Like it pivots. What's it's it connected got, to on the got, bottom? It's got a pull rod. Okay. So going the... going back to this rocker arm uh -huh. and then that push rod, so I could get the leverage right correct. You know when I first did it, it was a little bit. Like it didn't move enough uh -huh. and it was too hard so it would slow the car down but I couldn't get a good lock up. Okay. Now I adjusted the ratio and got it all right. All right, cool, uh, good stuff. You know, everything's just removed. I got a couple extra gauges and a couple of vents. Uh-huh. Uh, I can turn the fan 
fan on if I want to. And how long have you been drifting the car like this? Uh, two years. Okay. Actually, almost, probably almost to the day, two years. Here, 2017. All right. Suspension's all polyurethane bushings that I built. Uh-huh. This they don't make. Okay. Uh, wow, custom-made bushings. Yeah. 1320, you're on the quarter mile? No. <laughs> no, they're, um, they're Honda. They're Honda sway bar links that I have on my rear sway bar. It actually has two sway bars. Right. Stacked on top of each other. <laughs> so, uh, so you got, so how do you make two sway bars fit on the rear? Uh, like they're, you they're stacked and linked together. Okay. And then are linked into the original spot. Okay. I just couldn't get a heavy enough one. Okay. They, there's no aftermarket. Still tons of body roll, but you, you got uh, really good control of it. It's, it's better. Uh-huh. But, uh, I need, I, I want to do limiting straps to keep the droop. To okay. Because if you see when I jack the car up, uh -huh. the wheels drop like so far. Okay. Like, like I could go rally this thing. <laughs> All right, well, good stuff, Jason. Appreciate you talking to us. All right, man. Cool. And the, uh, there's the 450 SLC. Yeah. The coolest car out here. You win the award for the day. I don't care what anybody says. Awesome. Yeah, thanks cool. for talking. Appreciate it, man. All right. All right. <laughs>